Vision, and it is anti-aging. Didn't hear you come in. I was busy concentrating on my cleaning. What have you got there? They were in Auntie Hilda's mailbox. I thought I'd bring them up. Oh, look, she sent us a postcard. Oh, what's he say? He says, Dear boys, hoping this finds you as it leaves me. Having a horrible time. Oh. Uncle Fred went fishing yesterday and got stung by a jellyfish. It charged him £2.20 for an ice cream. Typical. Make a note of that, buddy. There's always somebody willing to take advantage of the unwary. I suppose so. Must go now, as the pen is running out of a... It's very nice. It is very nice. Hey, and it's nice of Auntie to let us look after a flat, isn't it? Especially as it's full of her antiques. Yes. And if you notice, we haven't broken a thing. That must be some kind of record. Pardon? That black disc over there with the hole in it. Ah, yes. Now you see, Barry, Auntie trusts us. Yeah, and she knows we haven't forgotten what she did to us the last time we kept an eye on things for her. <laughs> And that was just for leaving a crumb on a chaise lounge. Mm. Is it OK, by the way? Oh, yes. It's spotless, this. Don't worry about it. Oh, no! What? Oops. It won't come off. What are we going to do? She'll go loopy. No, she won't. I can fix that. Close your eyes and watch. I can't do that. Yes, you can. Close your eyes. There. It's gone. How did you do that? It's easy when you know how. Here, you get rid of the vacuum and I'll sort the mail. Okay. Sure, you weren't followed, Comrade Ivanov. Do you think I would be able to smuggle the priceless diamond of Boris across four countries if I was stupid enough to let myself be followed? Of course not, Comrade Ivanov. Where is it? It is hidden inside this bird. I will leave it in your safekeeping until Comrade Chenkov collects it for the next stage of its journey. He will be here this afternoon. How will I know it is he? He will say, excuse me, how much is the Ukrainian missile thrush? You will then reply, it has a very distinctive song. He will then say, oh. yes, but it is only heard in winter. Got that? <laughs> Ukrainian missile thrush. You will then make sure he gets the bird and send him on his way. Only heard in winter. Right. I go now. Oh. I'd better write the password down. I don't want anything to go wrong. Here we are, then. It's a junk shop. Antique, if you don't mind. Yeah, but I'm just going to get rid of the mark on the mantelpiece. You don't get it, do you? We can't get rid of it, so we cover it up. Oh, we lie about it, you mean? No, we cover it up with some sort of ornament. Yeah, but she'll see it. Well, of course she will. That's the idea. We'll call it a welcome home present. That way it'll keep us in our good books. Hey, and leave the talking to me. I might be able to keep the price down a bit. Good. There's nobody around. Now's our chance to have a look around and see if there's anything we like.
the blue beaked Ukrainian missile thrush. Well, I never. Well, you never what? Don't show too much interest in anything. Ah, oh, gentlemen. How may I be of assistance? It's all right. We're just looking, thank you. Our card. We're looking for a present for our Auntie Hilda. She's away in Spain at the moment on a Catalonian cake making seminar. Is she indeed? Oh, yes. Famous for her cake, she is. Perhaps you've heard of a famous yo yo pie? No. No sooner do you get it down, then it comes back up again. Well, if you see anything you fancy, let me know. We will. Well, I can't see anything here we fancy, Barry. Let's try down the road. What about this? What about it? Well, it'd look great on the mantelpiece, and it'd cover the mark. Not bad. There's no price on it, though. How much is the blue beat Ukrainian missile thrust? I, 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 I told you, let me do the talking. Now he knows we're interested, we'll never get the price down. It has a very distinctive song. Yes, but it's only heard in the winter. Ah! Oh, steady! You've arrived. I wasn't expecting two of you. People never get what they expect up here around. Ivanov, you're back. There has been a change of plan. Comrade Chenkov has been delayed. You must keep the bird safe. But it has already been collected. Impossible. Who has collected it? These two. They gave me the password. Fool! Who are they? They gave me their card. Moby Falcon. One on its own, recently fetched. How much? We're rich. The shopkeeper must have made a mistake. No, no, we made the mistake. We should have got the pair of them while we were at it. No, that wouldn't be fair on that nice shopkeeper. I think we should take this back to him and show him the magazine article. What? No, 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 no. He wouldn't be interested. I think we should keep it. I said we should take it back. It's not honest. Of course. You're right. I don't know what I was thinking of. Right. I'll just fetch my coat and we'll take it back. Right. OK, then. You do that. I'll wait here. OK. On second thoughts, I'm just popping out for a minute. What are you going to do? I'm going round to this address to get the bird back. But what if they will not give it to you? After all, they've never seen you before. You're right. You will go. They know you. What about the shop? I will look after the shop. You get the bird. I'll be back shortly. Good. And do not fail. Sorry about that. It was right at the back of the wardrobe. Anyway, I'm ready now. Paul? Paul? He must have gone already. Silly him. He's forgotten to take the bird with him. I'll catch him up. Colleague. He has had to slip out for a moment. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just browsing, you know. I'll take this. What? Uh, well, why not? I was just coming to see you. And I was just coming to see you. Oh. You have the bird. Oh, the blue beaked Ukrainian missile thrush. I was just bringing it back for you. You were? I were. I mean, I was. My brother and me have talked it over, and we feel it wouldn't be right to take it. So there you are. I don't know what to say. There's no need to say anything. It's my pleasure. You will thank your brother for me. Of course I will. We've still got to get Auntie Hilda's present, though. Since you've returned this, maybe I can help you out. Can you? I think so. Come with me. Ooh.
Where's that gone? Most kind. This'll do nicely. You got it. The idiot handed it to me in the street. Well done. Give it to me. Let me see if the jewel is safe. It is empty. That idiot, as you put it, must have found the jewel and decided to keep it for himself. Before we do anything rash, are you sure this is the right statue? What do you mean? Hadn't we better check the other one to be on the safe side? Where is it? Oh, no. I sold it. I'm back. Bell time, too. Do you realise, while you've been out, we've been raided by an international gang of antique statue thieves? We haven't. We have. We haven't. We have. Have we? Yes. What did they take? Only the Maltby Falcon. They didn't. They did. They didn't. They did. No, they didn't. What's wrong with you? You're supposed to say, did they? No, I'm not, because they didn't. I took it back to the shop. Well, what did you do that for? Because when I came back and you weren't here, I realised that you'd gone. But you'd forgotten to take the bird with you, so I came after you with it. And what did you do with it? I took it back. Oh, no. Well, there's no need to worry, because I've got something else. Oh, yes. Ta-da! The man at the shop sold them to me. Very reasonable, too. I'm not surprised. They're worthless. They've got red beaks. Well, if that's all that's worrying you. There you go. We are doomed. If only we knew who you sold it to. What did he look like? I don't know. He was a shifty looking person with spiky hair and a mustache. That sounds like the other one. What other one? The brother of the one who gave me the bird. So? They think they can play their little games with me. I'll show them. Come on. We're going to have to take this one back and apologise for your behaviour. We'll take it back and get my money back, more like. What about an apology? Accepted. Come on, let's get there before they close for lunch. He must have slipped out. I must remember to get my money back as well. I forgot I'd paid for that one. Hello? Hmm. Well, if he's already paid for that one, then technically, they're both ours. He's not there. Mm. I'm sure you're putting a bit of weight on, Paul. There. There's two of them. Hmm? Never mind. Bring them both. before went out. Oh, good thinking, that. Uh, hang on. I was last out. Yes, but I came back. No, you didn't. Of course I did. How do you think I'm here? Oh, yes, yeah, silly me. Silly you. 
Hey, do you know, all this to and fro has made me really hungry. Why don't you be a good lad and pop out and get us some chips? That's a good idea. I'll be back in a bit. Right. Nothing. Never. We chuckles are made of sterner stuff. Last chance. What are you going to do with that? So, this means a lot to you, does it? Talk. And you'll go mad. Will she now? The bird. No. All right, then. He's in the shopping bag. Bag? I saw no bag. Hello. Give him the bag, Barry. What? They made vile threats against my person. How dare you? You want the bag, you say? There you are. What are you grinning for? Wait till they try him. I forgot the salt and vinegar. He's not after the chips, Barry. Ah. How did they get in there? Uh, must be the nesting season. Auntie Hilda! Auntie Hilda? What can she do? I must say she was very understanding about the mess. I know she'd be all right once I explained. Ah! For you. Oh, that must have hurt, mind you.